All right, well, it's good to see y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to set it off with the Convo podcast. Once again, we have Eric and we have Shady Radical in the house representing from ATL all the way to New Jersey and back again and back again. So uh, welcome. Good to see y'all. What's going on? What's new in the world of the Radicals? Well, right now it's dinner time. Yeah, super dinner time. (laughs) So I don't even know how to do this while while we do it, but... um, the newest thing, though, I mean, besides this whole year, um, you know, we it's like we drop an album, right? That's why we 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 back on on, on the convo. But you know, instead of dropping an album, we actually um, are about to embark on a trip to Tanzania. Wow! Year, so that's we, big. Uh, now, is there anything specifically planned out in Tanzania? Well, you know that I'm in my dissertation phase of my PhD. So number one, this became, <laughs> go ahead, dig it. Eat off the screen. <laughs> Eat off the screen. Um, this time just seems like the right time to kind of take some space and gain some perspective. Um, after so much training, so much school, um, just trying to like get outside of it a little bit. Okay. My research is on, you know, performance and preservation. And a lot of what I think about is the, you know, the Atlanta community, the Atlanta context. Mm -hmm. So how do you preserve um, knowledge in the body, you know, through music, through dance, through performance, through um, creating new genres? Absolutely. But at the same time, in the midst of all of this, right? So you have not only Atlanta being Atlanta, but also like police brutality and COVID and the news. And like, you know, it's every every time I check my email, I get another email about Shady. You want to do this documentary or speak on the show or do this lecture or guest or, you know, all of these things. TPS just called me back, um, mm-hmm. wanted me to go back to the studio. Um, and said, you know, well, we're going to have to quarantine, the, you know, the end of next week. And I'm like, I just, if I don't take a moment to write this dissertation, <laughs> it will not get written, you know, and I will not finish this degree. So that, that, that emerged over the last couple of weeks. But, you know, as I'm thinking about that, Eric is, you know, working his little magic. And as he's like every five minute dropping hints, like I want to spend New Year's in, in Africa. I want to spend New Year's in Africa. And I'm like, how are we going to spend New Year's in Africa? But like my brain, of course, is still, you know, the gears are still changing. So, you know, I found yeah. the, the the bottom line is I found some cheap tickets okay. um, to go to to go to Tanzania so I reached out to the artists that I work with out there 10 years ago. Mm. And, you know, they're still there working and they, they were excited to, you know, be our host and kind of show us around and, and help us get acquainted with the community because Eric wants to, of course, be making music. That's his, you know, wherever we go, he will be playing music. Yeah. So I thought that this was a good opportunity to work on my dissertation, but also like try out this plan for our life. Like this is what we want to do for our rest of our lives. Like go travel, research, study, perform and preserve. Literally. So this is an opportunity to try to actually see if we can do that. Right. So we'll be there for six weeks. Um, Wendy's coming. <laughs> and Her we're passport gonna- is more stamped than all of y'all's out there. <laughs> for real. For real. She's still a baby, but she's making moves. She's making moves. Yeah. Yeah. It's important for us, for for her to feel a part of this world. You know, wherever she goes, we really want her to feel at home. We don't ever want her to feel outside or different. So, you know, that the way that we do that is to bring her along, expose her and make her feel like, you know, you can make home anywhere. Like this world belongs to you. It's it's ironic that like a lot of our family are like, she's not going to remember the trips, you know, but then you get like these professionals and these doctors and these books tell you that, you know, 
the age of two is the, is when they remember the most. And, and you mm. know what I mean? So it's like, what is, you know, so we, we, we putting that to the test, you know, we really, we really, what we've been learning uh, as parents has been like, you know, babies are a lot smarter, you know, than we, re- yeah. we realize if we, if we're more patient, we can see how much they, they learn and retain. And so trips like these, you know, we, you know, you can't, you can't measure, you know what I mean? Like what, what they're going to absorb, but you know, like you're, you're there, they're there. Like other babies are there, you know, they're playing with Italian babies and she'll be playing with, you know, Tanzanian babies, you know, it's babies, babies, you know what I mean? It's like, that's well, what it is. One thing we do know is when she goes back to grandma's and Popeye's house, she knows exactly where the snacks are. So she can remember where mm. snacks are, grandma's yeah. and Popeye's house. She's she going to remember where the snacks are in Tanzania, you know? Exactly. That's true. That's true. And then even like for babies learning new languages, they say that's usually the best time. When they're when they're young, they're able to absorb that, that. So even if it's just like a spirit, you know, where she feels like she's been home, you know, to Mother Africa, that's that's you know uh, palpable as well. Like I I know I've been here before, you know, and it's, right. uh, I always said that I think a lot of our people struggle due to the lack of connection to our country. You know, they don't feel mm-hmm. like they're connected to America. So it's easier to throw your life away when you don't feel like you matter or you don't feel as if you're connected, like as if the Bill of Rights doesn't apply to us. Now, initially, it didn't. We can be honest, because when Dred Scott went to the Supreme Court, he was Mm -hmm. pretty much told that there wasn't any rights that the black man had that the white man had to respect. Right. So we know that the this country essentially was not built for our success and for our survival. But now. You know, we, I always try to teach my students that that constitution, it does apply to you. Even if it wasn't written with you in mind, you now have those rights and you have those responsibilities as a citizen. So it's best for you to take place in society as best as you can to try to contribute whatever way possible. But the idea that we don't belong here and we're not supposed to be here, you know, that's that's something that I, I try to tell them all the time. The ancestors shed enough blood and tears. This is your country. This is your home. Yeah. So exactly. Respect that, and I appreciate that. So mm-hmm. I think that um, by you teaching your daughter that early, you know, anywhere you go, you are a worldwide citizen. You know, you feel right. connected, and when you feel connected, you feel like you've been granted purpose. A lot of mm-hmm. students that fall between the cracks or a lot of the young people fall between the cracks because they don't feel a sense of purpose. Who am I? Where am I from? I'm not connected to anything. So why does anything matter? You know, mm-hmm. so I can appreciate that you guys are on this train of thought because it's important. It's very yeah. important. It definitely is important to us. It's something that we we try to, you know, even in Atlanta, we we visit various different parts, right? So we'll go to Chastain, we'll go to our home park, Mosley Park, we'll go um, to Vine City, and it's different. Piedmont, like, yeah. Piedmont, shout out Piedmont. But like, it's every park you go to has a culture. Yeah. Um, we were at Vine City Park and the little boy, what, what did he say? Yeah, he was wild. At, he was just running around telling people, you you the ops, you the ops. And just running around, like, just hear, hear, hearing that language, hearing that lingo, it's like, wow, like, we know like where he comes from, but it's like it's, it's special. Mm-hmm. It's special. The last time we spoke, Eric, you were you finished dropping the project, the air project, and oh, then yeah. oh, from, yeah. from well, there, you know, I, I've seen you out and about um, in Atlanta, making your presence felt. I know that you guys are dealing with multiple things between the lawsuit, traveling, yeah. and still trying to perform amidst the pandemic. You know, what has been some of, some of your highlights thus far since the last time we spoke and what you've been working on? Yeah, so 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 the high one of the highlights, uh, and I gotta just bring this up because it, it seemed it might seem unrelated, but one of the highlights is uh Shady actually for Mother's Day, she got me a scooter. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so whatever I got her for Mother's Day, I you know, like for some reason it just lined up. It was in May, she got me a scooter and the scooter was important because, 
you know, before the pandemic, you know, January, February, you know, I was doing the Hawks games, you know, coming home late at night, playing, you know, street performing like I've been doing my whole life and just really been trying to, what well, really was working on something different. You know, I would I'd go to the studio and, and do that, but that's what I've been doing for the last couple of years. So to, to, to have a world now where not, no longer am I playing on the streets every night. And no longer am I riding the Marta 10 times a day. That it was a new world. And now I got this scooter. Um, and you know, I'm visually paired. I can't I, I can't pass the vision test for the license. So being on the scooter, it's like now I'm driving. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a different world. So those are freedoms that I did. That's like a freedom that I didn't even imagine. And now now you know, all I got to do is pretty much connect and imagine like the shift of like music and performance and, and money. You know what I mean? It's like what else in abundance? You know what I mean? Like what else? What other barriers, you know, am I am I am I going up against? You know, so even this this actually um, it's funny you say you see me out. But, you know, I've been I've been bunkered down uh, for the for the months. But when, when Shady got that ticket. It's like, you know what, I got to say goodbye to Atlanta in a sense, you know what I mean? Just for the year, you know, I got like every time I went out every now and then, yeah, they, they show love. But, you know, I just felt like, you know, I need I need to go to the people. I need that connection. And especially if they're still meeting, like, you know, it, it was just that time to just to, to like pretty much, yo, you you working in the lab. You got to take it and, and take it for a spin. You got to see if it worked like and that's what and that's what I've been doing for the last just couple of weeks you know, um, been doing that. But um, other than that, yeah, it's, it's really just been about, okay, how do I monetize, blah, blah, blah. You know, just to say stuff. But the fact that I'm no longer a street musician every day on the street playing has really just been like a new life and a new world. And, and, and it's not even the one, well, in such a different way. Again, such a different way than I, than I imagined it. I actually was on your website and I saw that you're you're selling loops now. Yeah, yeah. Um, service. You know, I talked to a few A and Rs. I actually talked to one of two chains A and R, and uh, I mean, and I talked to Shady. I mean, it seems like a lot of people are like, be of service. You know, people want to people want to know how can they use you in in a way. You know, and it's like, okay, well, this literally, is somebody asked me for to to for a job. Are you yeah. working right now? This is what I'm saying. You got to get outside. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. And 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 not to cut you off, Eric, but there's there's a phrase that I heard that just stuck with me. And they said, if you can't be used, you might be useless. And that really mm -hmm. kind of stuck with me. I was like, dang, yeah. okay, that's that's kind of crazy. You know? Yeah, that that's that's that that's that saying. I I would agree. And 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 I'm I'm you know I provide services and a bunch of other you know I play on music on street ball, but the loops. It's special because number number one, it's infinite. It's like find a flow, find the rhythm, find the melody, or or really get it out. You know what I mean? Because you put the beat on. That's all right. That's what I do. And so even in my mind, to be able to make money doing that is just such a different way than I imagined. But it's still the same way. It's still I'm playing music. You know what I mean? I'm playing music, and uh, and, and I'm getting to people who 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 need it. You know, it's been like overwhelming. Like producers, like this is what producers need like and then it's live horns and it's special so now it's like a special thing and i didn't even i didn't have no loops you know what i mean at the beginning of the year but i mean i would still hop on anybody track um right. anytime you know i think that's that's probably what um that's probably what's feeling and help and helped everything you know the fact that i i can play on the spot and vibe kind of with anything you know i think the loops you know, are like, yeah, like they they come from everywhere. And um, and I think that's what's, what's been going on. It's been cool. It's been exciting, though. It's really been exciting. And like, okay, this is a place for me in this way that I couldn't have, that I never thought about before, you know, so it's been cool. Right. And then people can collab with you literally all around the world. You know, they can just download and then they can, they can create. So how does that work when people go on the site? Um, they could just make the purchase and then they'll be able to download a zip file that has all the, the audio. Literally, there. literally, 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 um, literally. I'm, and I'm, and um, before the year is over, pretty much next week, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a drop all of them. You know what I mean? That's That was just one to see, make sure I, everything work and everything. But I'm definitely going to have a free one. I'm mm -hmm. definitely going to have a premium one. But yeah, I mean, my, my thing, yeah, look, I did the loops. 
they're 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 amazing what what people can do with them if they love them that that's what's up my thing is still like call me for the performances call me for the studio session you know that's just my thing like you, yeah you in you in i don't even know where you at where you at you in um you in cali or you in um i would say france but you in um oh yeah france first got a lot of, you in london you in anywhere that that appreciate trap music Yo, call me. We'll see. Maybe we find some cheap tickets. I'll pop up at the studio. You know what I mean? Do the, I mean, because this is performance and connection. You know what right. I mean? 